Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of One Bad Veggies Root Beer Review. The show where we review root beer so you don't have to. Why would you? Of course, you know the rules for review. Number one, we uh, talk about the ingredients. Number two, we test the scent or the smell of the root beer to see if there's any kind of flavors hiding in the background. Number three, we go ahead and check the head as we pour the root beer. And number four, we do an actual taste test. And number five, of course, is the overall thoughts and review of the root beer that we tried this week. This week, we're gonna be reviewing um, a root beer that used to be kind of hard to find around here, but is seemingly being imported into stores more often now. It's the Australian imported Bandaberg root beer. Mate. It's not a root beer. This is a root beer. So the first thing, of course, is the ingredients. And as you can see right here, this is the actual bottle, the art. Let me scoot it in there a little bit so you can get a get better look at that. Um, and the ingredients are written on the side there. So just looking at the ingredients, you have stuff like vanilla, you have molasses, you have uh, ginger root, you have sarsaparilla, like it should be all the makings of what would be like a classic root beer. So this should be a real treat. And now we move on to the second part of the review, which is of course the part where we review the scent or smell of the drink. So let's go ahead and uh, crack this open. First off, something to notice too. This one doesn't have like a crack top, no bottle opener. It's a pull out, then up. So pull out, then it pops right off. Kind of interesting. Unique, at least. Let's go ahead and take that sniff. So the things that I kind of noticed about the scent of it is that it's almost got, it's got a lot of the flavors that you're kind of looking for. Like, it's very, but there's also some weird hints of almost like fruity flavors in the background. It's hard to explain. Let's go ahead and uh, pour it and uh, so that way we can get to taste it and see how unique perhaps it may be all right go let's go ahead and test the pour in the head on this thing not too bad um looks like it sticks around for a second let's go ahead and uh see how it tastes Oh, that's very unique. It's very unique. All right, and now, of course, for the uh, fourth part of the review, the actual tasting of the actual root beer. Let's go ahead and... So like I said before, the scent or the smell that I kind of got off of it was unique. It had a bunch of very strange kind of like fruity flavors in the background um it's not terrible it's totally drinkable um but it doesn't necessarily taste like something that you would want if you were like to have a root beer you wouldn't want to make like a root beer float out of this in a, in a weird way it almost tastes more like a cola than it does like a root beer my overall thoughts on it, seeing as this is a root beer review show, I do always believe that a root beer should at least taste like at least what you're trying to expect of it. Even if it has some sort of other flavor that it flaunts on the actual label like cherry or um, something like that, it should still at least taste like what you want, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to give this one a D um, because while it is totally drinkable, um, it's not bad as far as just having a drink, a cold soda, but as far as actually like fulfilling the need of having to be a root beer, I'm going to have to rate it pretty low. All right. And that's it. So come back next time for our next root beer review and, uh, hope you had a good time.